Um, so my name is Mike Evans. I am the um, designer, product designer, head of product design, glass designer here at Grav Labs. Today I'm here to talk about uh, a little bit about some of the stuff I've done. Specifically right now, uh, Orbis. Orbis was the first project I worked on when I came on as Grav's, Grav's designer. This was a special one. It's the first first time I thought about designing stuff uh, and not actually making it. The inspiration behind the Orbis series was really it was just a, the, a cat, the category itself was kind of a, you know the kind of the, the slang term for these this style of pipe was was a banger hanger or something that a um, quartz banger could easily be used with. This was kind of hopefully going to be an entry level um, device for people that are getting into more of a concentrate market and a, at a price point that wasn't extremely high compared to some of the other things on the market while still offering um, a distinct kind of original shape and design that, um, that uh, still had Grab's um, aesthetic and customer in mind. I decided that everything uh, needed to hinge on one consistent element and that ended up being the mouthpiece, this kind of a exclamation point uh, shape. Um, and actually went through about 30 different designs just on the mouthpiece alone. Kind of with the theory that it could be used like a ball and socket over a bunch of different devices, meaning that by making a sphere on the end of this cone, you could change the, the angle relatively easily and, and attach it in a different angle without a having to change the overall shape of the mouthpiece. So it allowed a lot of different base shapes to be applied to exactly the same mouthpiece and have a consistent design element across across all, all pieces. That mouthpiece was the, uh, kind of the glue that held this whole series together. This being my first project for Grav as the designer, the real challenge for me was knowing when to, when to stop, when it was done. You know, it's, it's usually I get to make it and you get a feeling that like this is the piece and, and it's time to finish. When you never get to stop drawing them, you never know when to, to, to say, okay, go make this one. And so we actually, they're very, uh, <laughs> they're very patient with me. It took a little longer than they probably thought it would. I think we released five of them, but there were 10 that we took to a full sample to choose from. And I think they asked me to design two. And so uh, out of two, they got 10, uh, where I, I could finally settle on 10 of them. So uh, uh, learning how to trim it back and when to say when and when to have the confidence to move forward with the design is something that I learned uh, uh, at the end of this project and into the next ones, I started to pick up on that. Mm -hmm. 